A pair of Russian MiG-31K Foxhound jet fighters, armed with Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, has touched down in Syria. It's the first time that warplanes capable of carrying the Kinzhal have been deployed outside Russia's borders. They joined Tu-22M3 Backfire C bombers at Kamemem Air Base in Syria's coastal Latakia province. While these have been assembled for drill, there's more to it. The timing is important here. The deployment to Syria of these aircraft, along with Ilyushin IL-38 anti-submarine planes, comes after the UK Royal Navy aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth commenced its first combat missions against ISIS militants in Iraq from its location in the eastern Mediterranean. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia has given a hostile welcome to HMS Queen Elizabeth with the deployment of Kinzhal armed MiG 31K in Syria. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Reports of the deployment came from the Russian Ministry of Defense's official television station, TV Zvezda, posting a video showing MiG-31Ks and Tu-22M3s arriving at the base. The clip also noted that joint exercises by the Russian Aerospace Forces and Russian Navy units had already begun. TV Zvezda's reporting has mentioned the Russian maneuvers will involve five Russian Navy warships, including the Slava-class guided missile cruiser Moskva, the Admiral Grigorovich-class frigates Admiral Essen and Admiral Makarov, and the improved Kilo-class submarines Stary Oskol and Rostov-on-Don. All these are part of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Over the last decade, the eastern Mediterranean has become more contested with the heavier Russian military presence in Syria. Viewers may note that in 2015, Syria was at risk of being overrun by ISIS. President Putin had sent troops into Syria in 2015 to defend Bashar al-Assad's regime, a longtime ally. The mission was to protect the strategic military base, which is later turned into a full-blown attack on ISIS. It's also to be noted that the Russian warship has come within 16 miles, or around 25 kilometers of Queen Elizabeth since it started anti-IS operations on the 18th of June and was a show of force to the UK. Mikoyan MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed for use by the Soviet Air Force. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat. MiG-31 is based on and shares design elements with the MiG-25. The MiG-31 has the distinction of being one of the fastest combat jets in the world. It continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force. The Russian Defense Ministry expects the MiG-31 to remain in service until 2030 or beyond with several upgrades. It's powered by two Soloviv D-30 F-6 afterburning turbofan engines which generate 93 kilonewtons, that's about 21,000 pound force thrust each dry, and 152 kilonewtons or 34,000 pound force with afterburner. MiG-31 has a max speed of Mach 2.83 and has a service ceiling of 25,000 meters or 82,000 feet. MiG-31 has many variants and the K variant can carry a single Kinzhal on the centerline. 
The choice of the aging MiG-31, which would probably launch the Kinzhal from 60,000 plus feet at supersonic speed, is aimed at giving the missile much more reach than it would have if launched from the ground. Kinzhal, meaning dagger, is an air-launched ballistic missile ALBM. This kind of missile is ballistic in nature but is launched from the air, unlike traditional ballistic missiles which are launched from land or sea-based platforms. Kinzhal goes ballistic seconds after it's been launched from an aircraft, unlike cruise missiles. It's a hypersonic weapon and reportedly has a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound. The missile has a range of approximately 2,000 kilometers or 1,250 miles when launched from MiG-31. Kinzhal is thought to be a variant of the ground-launched Iskander-M short-ranged ballistic missile. The Iskander is reportedly capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 5.9 in its terminal phase and is thought to have a range of about 500 kilometers or 310 miles. Kinzhal's first stage is probably shared with Iskander and the guidance section is specifically designed for this missile. According to the Russian president, units in the country's southern military district, which borders Ukraine and the Black Sea, have deployed the missiles operationally. Kinzhal is also reported to be nuclear capable and able to hit ground as well as naval targets. It can carry a warhead of 500 kilograms or around 1,100 pounds. It's thought to be powered by a solid propellant rocket. Kinzhal armed with conventional warheads could potentially be used to take out multi-billion dollar aircraft carriers or destroyers. When armed with a nuclear warhead, it can theoretically decimate a carrier strike group. It is a stark reminder of Russian military might. As per Russian claims, Kinzhal is capable of making rapid course corrections or otherwise flying erratically. This coupled with the weapon speed could make it very difficult for the existing air defense system to track and intercept it. The combination of Kinzhal and MiG-31K will surely be a challenge since the missile carried by the fast aircraft could be launched from unpredictable locations and its target envelope will be very large. The Sea Scepter defensive missiles on Queen Elizabeth class carriers can only intercept targets traveling up to Mach 3. Some time back, British newspaper The Independent concluded, pointing to HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales, it means the two ships could be rendered obsolete by this new development in hypersonic warfare, despite costing up to 7 billion pounds, it's about 8.9 billion US dollars, to build.